All right, so pistol round. You set up a wait. An epic pen. Remind me to turn off epic pen when I'll be back uh, to actually playing the game. Uh, let me see what it. Uh, how did you set up? So you're setting up a turret for Shot heaven. Through. So it's contacting short, and you are playing. Wait, let me see this. Okay, so this is pretty nice because what you do is. Once someone pushes out, you, you're setting up the... the um, yeah, 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 nice. This is very nice. So I like this, because what you do is you set up the range of the bot exactly when someone is going outside of showers. So it's not holding, like, the inside of the shower here, right? I know that we don't have your voice recorded, but when you do this, remember to tell your teammates that you're not holding shower and someone can still be in showers and look at sight without being alerted, because people are just, again, donkeys, and they will not realize that you have a specific setup. And it's easier if you tell them, right? So this alarm about works when someone is going outside of showers, and then the alarm about triggers and goes in, then that's when the nanosome is getting triggered, and the person just gets fucked. But the problem is that this nanosome ends the radius somewhere here. So if I would have to recommend anything, I would say put the nano swarm closer here. Because the thing is, when this person goes outside of showers, there's a high chance he might hug this corner and then this nano swarm will not do much pressure on him. But if you like, you don't need the, the range being bigger from this side, you need it bigger from the right side. Swarm grenade. All right, let's see. And the rain is going to push showers, so your setup is useless. That's another thing that... That's another thing that you... For, I, I mean, unfortunately, you're not going to able to talk to those donkeys in chat uh, in, in your games about it. The, the purpose of this entire setup is to control showers without actually controlling it. So if someone is actually in showers right now, your setup is useless. Let's see how this goes. Because if the Reyna will be holding showers the entirety of that round, then your alarm about Nano Swarm are not doing anything. Heavy B. Heavy B. Four players in front I'll, of I'll Hookah. No, no, there's four here. There's literally four here. I said I got okay, right. Yeah, good. You're staying and anchoring. This is correct. Other players rotating. Wait, it, might have, it might have been a fake, honestly. I don't see them anymore. That's good. That's I good. Saw, you, heard. as a killjoy, in 99% of the rounds, you should be the player that stands here. Yeah, You're probably calling that someone is pushing short, the cypher camera is being used. But the thing is, I didn't like the way that you didn't push um, heaven to just even get a little bit of vision. Because look at your, look at your teammate. When the turret starts shooting, right? Look at look at the raises. The raises behind the truck, and he's actively peeking. See this? You should be peeking with this raise during the same moment. Because the thing is, when she throws the nade, if there are people here, right, in this spot, they're gonna go swap the fucking knife and try to run away. That's the moment to strike. You want to play off your teammates' utility as well. Right? But of course, the might actually now you know what? Maybe not because then you expose yourself to shower and you don't know if someone's shower. There's there's a very low chance that someone's shower, based upon the fact that there were four players in front of hookah. I don't think they would go shower in this timing, but there's a small chance. Yeah, I'll see you anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, but this this is so bad. The Reyna and Ko rotating towards A from B when there's no one on site is like a huge miscommunication and lack of uh, comprehension from those two players. If you want to be an IGL, you need to call, guys, stay fucking B, there's no one on site. Right? Because this, this, this rotation from the Reyna and the fucking Ko is absolutely fucking terrible, man. Look. Look at this. Yeah. Useless player. Useless player right now. In this situation, you have 3v4. And one is Hookah. One, and the fate. What a miracle that she actually killed him. If she dies in Hookah, 
you literally you're literally fucked as a team, right? If there are more players there. One enemy remaining. Spike down A. Going greedy for kills. And by the way, if you're a Reyna player, right? If you're a Reyna player and, and it's a situation like this, it's a 5v1, don't go for the kill. If you care about winning, don't push for the kill. It's not even about the fact that you might throw because you die. But the fact is, your ultimate is dog shit when it comes to actually putting any kind of impact for the game. So give the kill to someone else that has actually some utility. And if you're playing on eco as a Reyna, you should definitely not try to get actively kills. Because eco kills are the easiest ones. Give those kills to someone who can actually put like a lot of fucking effort into their, their utility. So, okay, let's talk about this turret. It's one of those turrets that I really dislike. So the thing is with this turret is that it never sees people from long. And it can be destroyed by people from long. And then it's kind of useless. Right? And in this case, the only purpose of this turret is to spot people coming, like, peeking wide uh, into hookah. So you can't play off it. In general, I would say, don't use this turret, like, ever. There are better setups, and we can actually call them. Wait. Uh, play M, thank you much for the tier 1 for two months. Welcome back, broski. Thank you very much for the ongoing support. Better setups for, for B, that you can play of utility. Let's talk about them. Bind. Killjoy. Uh, turret. My fi one of my favorite setups that you can do on B. You set up turret on the generator, on the most l uh, right side of it. I mean, not generator, but, you know, this fucking thing, right? Like here. And then you put um, Alamo bot for garden, for example, right? That's one setup. Then you can put up a nano swarm underneath hookah, like here, right? And the second one is whatever, like you can, or you can keep it. So when you have a setup like this, right, you can play off your turret because the turret gets activated when someone jumps out of hookah, not earlier. So you get, you get the info when to pop the nano swarm, right? When someone jumps, whoop, you have him. You can play also of contact of your alarm bot because someone will have to like go through this angle, which means that you can peek from tube at the moment that this bot has contact and try to kill this player, right? Um, you can also just play... Uh, how, how, what else? Man, the bot has such a close range. Actually, you know what? Playing from this angle is actually better. I think. I'm not certain about it, but you can try doing this because the thing is, if, if the bot is here, there's gonna be heard, right? By people going long, they can actually destroy it from this angle if they, if they shoot through like the edge of the wall. But if you do it from this side, then those players will have to like, you, you have to like check exact positioning, but I think you can like hug it to the wall here, like which has barely like um, range here from this side. But if someone would like to destroy it, then he has to expose himself from this angle. Right? Which is even better for you. And then you can even hug this corner. Because when, when this bot is triggered, you can like swing here to not be exposed to hookah while fully seeing this. Right? So that's essentially one setup. Other setup that you can do is um what else can we do? Okay, fuck, I'm trying to remember my setups with, with Killjoy. Um Alamo bot for default plant. You put the Alamo bot here, Nano Swarm here, to stop people from planting, right? And then turret, you can set up, uh, for example, uh, what would I do? What would I do with the turret? I would probably still do it here, because in this case, it's like your first line of defense. The, uh, but this is like, yeah, if you play for elbow, maybe. Because then you can peek from elbow when the turret has contact. And you let them go side. This is a, this is a setup that you can do when you're trying to play like retake with your ultimate as well. Mm. 
turret here is actually pretty nice as well in this spot because it's not visible from hookah and then you can put the alarm about here and another one here right like this so your turret is your contact for uh for garden remember if you put up a turret for garden don't put it in an angle that you are gonna swing into so if you're putting like you need to learn how to swing to your turret for example if this turret is in here then the line is uh wait the line of contact is like this right that means when someone swings here and looks at the turret you want to short swing so you don't go into his crosser because if you wide swing you literally go into the crosser of that of that guy that wants to destroy the turret right so you can play it like this or you put in the turret here right and then you play off of here so you can like short swing from this side when the turret has contact on the player that is here like this right this is it like here but it's a little bit more awkward what about playing Kabi here? I mean, if I would be playing Kabi, I, I would definitely go for the previous setup. So cross turret, alarm bot in here, right? Like this. That'll be my Kabi setup, I would say. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the VOD. Directly under hookah isn't a mistake? No, why? Mm, I don't like this at all. Because now you don't have any value of your nanosome. Right? The only way you can you know when to pop this nanosome is when you actually will have a visual cue of your opponents. Because when this is being triggered, they are here, and nanosome has another effect. Right? So, if you want to do this, I, I don't feel like putting Nanosome in Garden even makes sense. I'll stay, I'll stay. So this repositioning the Lama Ward is just probably uh, better. Are they pushing? Alarm down. Directly under hook as in a mistake, you're wasting range of potential spells. See? This is a very good example. Your Nanosome has no effect. Look, look at the bot. They destroyed the bot. And you like, one second later, like two seconds later, you're popping the nanosome. But no one is pushing this. Literally no one is pushing this, right? So your utility, you just use 400 utility for an effect. Oh my god, that problem. And your raise, oh my god, your raise just TP'd from A to B and li just literally just left A defenseless. So now they have sight for free. They should probably TP right here. Like the play for the opponents is to is to TP right here. They're rotating, rotating, rotating. Uh, yeah. God. Yep. Raise TP. Three kills. That's just typical low elo, they give up sight on first contact. No, no, no. This this literally happens in Immortal 3. This literally happens in Immortal 3. I guess he TP'd. Okay. Again, the same turret. I like this Alamo bot better, but the Nanosome is terrible. Don't put it here. Don't put it here. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, see? Okay. This is a very good example. You're super inefficient with your utility right now. Look. Your shower setup was good. Because you played your nanoswarm off your alarm bot. But here, none of those nanoswarms will play off, off anything. Your turret is holding only hookah. Right? And it's a deep hookah. 
then your nanosom here will not play off anything and it will just most likely just get destroyed by people pushing into hookah because they will see it right your alarm bot is gonna trigger when someone goes into this range but your second uh, nanosom has a range like this so it doesn't stop people from pushing right so if you want to do a setup like this i would prefer to put your nanosom out here because it also covers cubby but it will have a range like this so this is not covered but at least you stop a little bit of a push towards the cubby area so you can like pre-aim this area because you know that no one is gonna stand in in this oh my god no one is gonna stand like here right so you can expect only players in those spots Unless he's expecting enemy to take cover in Kabi. But then he'll just push side. You can have the same effect with this Nanosome if you just put it here. It literally has the same effect, but it's more effective on, uh, on the exit. Because you have a range that is bigger than this. You know, you will cover Kabi as well, and you will cover like at least half of the entrance. Hmm. See? You're holding an angle that is useless. Your turret has contact with someone who is currently in Hookah. In this spot. This is the player from Hookah. And you are holding this. There's no one here and no one will be for a very long time. So you're literally just like now being super inefficient with your own positioning because you're not doing anything with your utility. That's a, that's a very common mistake by killjoys that I see. Down. Oh, I see a lot. Two, two. You heard now one from garden. Like, th this is the moment. You heard one from garden. Look, listen. Oh, I see a lot. Now, that was a wooden step in this spot. This is your cue because your nanosome wasn't destroyed. This is your cue to activate the garden nanosome. And that cypher for cages as well. Yeah, I'm staying A. Yeah. See? You, you had no control this round. Whatsoever. Literally had no control. Just because you had really terrible utility setup. And you didn't play off it. You played like you... You're not the killjoy. You played like you just pressed the buttons for the killjoy, but you played like a Reina. You know what I mean? This is a very good round to learn from. Spike planted. Last player standing. What a cross the place, by the way. Fucking three Mongolites speaking together. Um, 2.9k. Okay, I have ac I had actually no absolutely no idea that that button's here. Weak as garbage. You just you just showed me something new. I have no clue that that button's fucking here, man. What the fuck? I, I never used stuff like this. I just speak in the game. I would just say, let's save guys. Or I can buy. Let's buy. You know, I'm just doing those communications myself. I'm saving. I'll play B. Yeah. Like I never I never had need to even look at that because what for, right? Okay, so this turret is a little bit more efficient, but again, you you probably not gonna play off it. And that's a big problem. Placing alarm bomb. Placing swarm grenade. Placing <laughs> Yeah, th this, those setups are really inefficient, you know? 
because look you're playing like that's that's really something that i dislike all of your utility right now is focused on controlling hookah let's see what do you play wait so you play oh he's just rotating Oh, okay, well, you shouldn't be the player who rotates, but yeah, I understand. But wait, you had 2.9k... Wait, 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 let's, let's go back. You have 5.3 for the next round. And you don't buy anything. I'm saving. You only need 3.9 for the next round. That means that you have... Uh, 1k400 to spend this round. So if I would be you, in this case, I would put myself in a spot where I'm more confident. So for this round, I would go for, for example, Bucky Light Shields, or uh, Stinger Light Shields, or Sheriff Light Shields, to have something to fight with. And then I would only use my turret. Okay. He's using all utils on need to buy, but his util is only 600. So he, so he would still have enough cash to buy even a ghost or a frenzy, right? No, 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 guys. Because I'm talking about 3.9 if you don't use your util, and you don't need to use your full util on a save round. And... Playing with a classic here just makes no sense. If I would be in weak as garbage's shoes, what I would do right now is I would be doing probably this. If I'm buying a Bucky, right? If I'm buying a Bucky, then I'm setting up a turret in this spot here, like this, and I'm playing here. Actually, let me fix this. Yeah, like this. So they hear the turret, right? And when they peek, like if they peek you from this angle, you just hold this. This is your angle to hold with the Bucky, right? And that's good enough. But if they peek for the turret and they destroy the turret, you swing and shoot the Bucky and you get at least one. And getting at least one is worth more than doing a setup with Alarmobots and, and Nanoswarms that will not do anything because you have a classic. You will only prolong your um you will only prolong your death because most likely you will scare off people from coming to your site and push them somewhere else. And you're like, well, okay, fine, now I have a full round to play with and I have a classic. Right? If you play Stinger, I mean, okay, Stinger is hard to control if you if you don't have a lot of experience with it. But if you have a sheriff, right? You can always like play off of your turret just use your turret as a second player essentially i'm doing this for sure this is a really efficient setup and remember in those save rounds using only a turret is fine just tell your teammates i'm only using turret this round i'm going for a bucky or something someone else please cover garden right Do you do what reviews for people who use Duelist 2 or only for user agents? Duelists also have utility, but I do this for everyone who sends a $25 fucking contract. Why Bucky over Shorty? Because Bucky is a good gun. While Shorty is like, you know, a glass cannon. Um, remember that if you have a Bucky and you want to rotate, rotate typically through spawn and go directly into lamps. Always try to adjust your movement and map control and moving over the map to the assortment that you have at your disposal. You could have teammates use Bucky Garden playing off your Alamo bot. Yeah, but if you don't want to spend any cash on any utility, you know? Like, that's the point. Also, like, if you play Bucky in Garden, then you, you have to play in the, in only in the one spot, like here. This is your only spot, right? This would work well for someone who can exit. So, you get one kill, you dismiss as a Reyna. You get one kill, you TP out as a Yoru. I'm saving. Yeah. Ow. 
And in general, again, this setup, your your nano swarms are not effective. The one under hookah that you have here in this round just doesn't do anything, and that's the problem. Well, it's just after action. They're rotating. Fade has disconnected. Well, that's unlucky. And here, like, look, you have a turret. You just, you just got a turret. Use it. See this here. This is the moment to you, for you to use the turret. Just put it up. You want to peek from this? Just put the turret out. But with this gun, it would be better to go into lamps than peek heaven for showers. So now you're full buying, but you're going A. So you're set up for heaven. Hmm. Okay, so the setup is not bad. But there's no reason for the second second nanosome. Save it. If you're playing in this location, why are you setting up already your nanosome? You can throw this one. When the your first line of defense is your turret. Your turret has first contact on someone from short. Right? And then you pop this nanosome after the turret is destroyed and the alarm about triggers. That's the moment for you to, to pop the nanosome. So this nanosome has no function till they actually push through the first obstacle and second obstacle. And that's the moment when they push you into lamps. But when that happens, you're gonna most likely have a chance at killing someone right? Because you're playing contact here, right? And when you're doing that, this nano swarm doesn't do you anything, and if you get one kill, you just hide, and that's the moment when you can just throw the nano swarm and stop them from pushing. Stacking nano swarms makes no sense. They don't deal double damage if you pop them at the same time. I'll go elbow. Second line of defense, though, did you hear what I just explained? That there's no point in that second line of defense because it's useless? So, Linko, you didn't listen to a single word that I said. Re make a clip and listen again to it. Like three trees. You will not kill my allies. I like the recall, pretty fast. It's a 3v 4v5 round anyway, it's pretty tough. Solinko, are you don't stop on an alt account? Because you're currently making excuses for bad choices instead of finding solutions for problems. You can Keep that nanosome so you can be more flexible or save cash if you die at contact. And I'm, I can't believe that I have to repeat that shit. Because you are arguing. Holy fuck. Last player standing. Hello, Kakuo. Okay, what's your setup here? Standard to it on site. Okay, I like this more. I would like the nano swarm more on, on this side here, just because of the cubby, like you did before. But this one is fine as well. But the thing is... Okay, will you play off it? Nice, nice, okay. So I like this because you played off your turret. But you're typically not doing this. Like, this is the first time you played off the contact of your turret. Coming to you, Reyna. Yeah. yeah, you can stay side. You, you, can, you can stay side. I agree with this. Good rotation at the moment they're planting. I like that. You played that well. One enemy remaining. You have a turret before before starting to defuse this. 
You need to put your turret out. Right? You saw the cypher before going behind that wall, you put your turret out. You can even put it on top of... Oh, look. Uh, what was the timing? Let me check. Two seconds. You know he's on short. Look. And now you activate turret, you put it on top of triple. Top of triple here. And then you go for the defuse. That's your play. One enemy remaining. Falconel, it's called Epic Pen. Um, it's 10 to 8. You have 4.5 for your next round. Uh, but your teammates had a lot of cash. 4.3.9, 4k. I would probably rebuy armor here. Fuck, it's hard to say. This is a 50-50, depending on your confidence and the way you play. And if they have a low buy or not. If your opponents have a low buy, I'm rebuying armor here. To not die to a sheriff shot. If they are playing full buy, I'm probably not rebuying the armor. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not rebuying armor here. <laughs> oh god. I think he needs to work on his aim and he's doing final his death setups. No, please. It's actually the, the opposite. Uh... This is like a really inefficient setup. This is like a... I'm gonna put my shit at random. Look, look at this. Also, your teammates... Like, your utility currently has no... Has, it's literally useless, right? Because your Raze is controlling this, and your KO is controlling Hookah. So your turret is, wa is watching a wall, your Alarm bot is watching nothing, and you are doing nothing. Y you have, like, no impact. Right now, it's a 4v4. Now it's a 5v4. Because at least... You have a control over here, but... There's not a swarm... Doesn't really help here. It only slows them down. Right? When you want to play on site, remember the setup that I told you about the turret on, on the box here. Like, really fucking amazing turret. They teleport me dead. Tree or By the way, your alarm bot here, like when you play this angle. Shit, wait. Tree or garden? See, rem you remember cutting the pie yesterday? Look at your crosser placement when you're swinging into, into garden. Look how you adjust your aim. See? It's really not good. Your, your movement of your crosser is like this. This is your movement of your crosser. What you need to do is instead of this, your movement of your crosser needs to be like this. So when you're swinging into into garden right now, right? First, you can ne you you should never like lower your your crosser and also your crosser should not be here. Because this is the moment when you're exposed. And your opponents will be most likely standing in this spot. This is the head of your opponent. So your crosser is too low. Right? And it's off your opponent. Because you will need to flick to him. So you need to flick. It's a very fucking hard flick to do. Because you need to go upwards right. This is the toughest. If you're a right-hander, this is the toughest flick to do. Because it requires you moving outward your body up. This is like the toughest flick to do in the game. So, take your time. You're not exposed to hookah. You're not exposed to garden. So, when you're doing this, just sw 
change your angle before you peek. You know? What a one. I have my knife too. Breach in garden. One, uh, one You're one, still... One. See, you're not playing off your setup. Look, your turret is contact, but you're not doing anything for the turret. Right? This is your setup right here. Mm, it was like this. Right? This is your setup right here. And you're standing... Right. Ah, fuck. Clear. They're drilling again, man. It pisses me off. Uh, so this is your this is your setup. This and this. And you're playing here. That means that someone who is going long can see the turret and destroy the turret without you seeing him, just like it happened, right? You barely seen the breach. But if you're playing, for example, here, then when he sees the turret, you can move here and try to kill him. Right? So you're playing off the contact of your turret. In general, this, this is not a setup that I would give an advice to play with, right? Because it's really inefficient. Uh, but you can play off your turret always, right? Like, you cannot play from here because if you swing on contact for long and you look at long right, like this, right? You swing on the contact of turret to long because then you're exposed to hookah without knowing if someone is here. Remember that, right? So your only option is to swing here, right? Or don't swing. Or you're standing here. This is also a good setup, a bait, right? You're baiting for the, for the alarm about to be here. When someone tries to shoot it, you swing and kill him. Or if you have a turret like this and someone starts shooting the turret, you swing and kill him. Always try to use your utility on Killjoy as a additional player. Oh, one hookah, one uh, teleport. One enemy remaining. Nice shit. I mean, nice, nice hit. But again, this is you being just good with shooting and controlling. That's one thing that I have to comment, though. You're good at not full autoing. Eight grenades left. Reloading. Can I get a drop? Turn out. Could have placed his nano on the tr in the truck and use when they're planting. And is that helpful? Truck? Oh, no, he was playing B side. Yeah, buy a shield. Yeah. Oh, you didn't buy shields. What? That happens to me sometimes as well. See? Okay, so the Reina died. So, but now, now your setup is actually useful. But, nice. Good activation, like this. But again, you're not playing off your utility. You're, you're only using it to scare people away, but you don't take the space from them. You know what I mean? Why are you not standing in lamps here when you set up... You, you did make a setup. You can literally swing of it and try to get a kill. You need to be more aggressive because... You, you, remember this. Your alarm robot and your turret is a person. Do you want to trade a person? Yes. So treat your alarm robots and turrets as a fucking person. Cross the placement could have been better, but you got the kill. I like this angle because it's an off angle and that you cannot be checked from sight. No, 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 no. Absolutely no. Absolutely no. Don't use this. Right now you have an advantage. And what you just did, look at the minimap, what you just did. You know, just made sure that your opponents will take the TP and go B, and there's no one B. This is a huge issue that you just created for the team. 
you you wanted to do something good, but you just fucked over the entire team because this is the cue for the opponents to actually take the TP. Placing storm, storm grenade out. Spike planted. Well, throw the logic out of the window because the opponents are stupid. I know exactly. I, I, I cannot explain this. But I still stand by my opinion. This is not a good move. There's no point in ulting, by the way, here as a KO. Because it's a 2v2. You motherfuckers are playing against a Cypher and a fucking Omen in post plan that probably you all use all of the fucking util and you just put a GPS in your fucking head. They literally know where you are. Reloading. Why, why, why is this motherfucker not using his ultimate, though? You seeing this shit? You seeing this shit? The guy that actually has info and can like, oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is wrong with those people, man? And the KO didn't even move and somehow gets a kill. Unreal. Anyway, this entire round was fucked. But don't do that lockdown in that moment. And this guy still has paranoia. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing made sense here. No, this round, absolutely nothing made sense. It should have been the Fade that uses the ultimate, not the fucking KO. KO has the best ult to stop people from pushing sight. Because you don't care if they know what, where you are. You just stall them with it. But in general, you want to use the lockdown... When they already plant it, right? Or unless you want to push them out into a trap. This is a very specific, uh, like very specific uh, setup. So what you try to do, let's say you are in the same situation when you want to put this ultimate, right? It has to be reversed. If your players are standing on B side, like you have three players on B side and you're alone on A, then it's a good ultimate. Because you push away the people to TP towards B into a trap. Right? And when it's reverse, you're playing on B side alone and you have like three players on A or even two players on A. You can use the ultimate to force them to rotate towards showers into a trap as well. Right? Or you wait for the plant and then you use your lockdown to buy space. But that's very effective only when you have smokes as well. Right? Because when the spike is planted and when you ult it and you gain all of this space, imagine if you still have a smoke player that can smoke here, smoke here, right? And then you can start defusing. Then they are fucked, right? Or the same on B, that you just you just use the uh you just use the entire entire uh, uh lockdown to buy space, you get a smoke here or a smoke here, and you start defusing. Like, you want to buy space, or you want to push opponents into a trap. So turret on... Mm. I have all the time the same notes. You're not playing off your utility, right? Look, look at sight, look at sight. Look at it right now. Your Reyna is holding short. See this? This is what Reyna holds. That means that no one crossed into lamps. This should be the moment for you to go forward, left, and here, and hold it with Reyna. Once she has a contact, because someone swings her, you should be swinging as well and fight. Right now, you're not really helpful for the team. Because your Reyna is holding short, see? Uh, 
The patch notes are out, by the way. Yeah, I have seen them a week ago. There's nothing interesting there. Bot coming back. Bring them down. Spike planted. Placing sentry. Yeah, it's a save. Like, this is a save. You should be calling your teammate just fucking save, man. You don't have a lot of cash from what I remember. And you have 70 HP. Yeah. You you should have saved. See? Now you have no cash for anything. And your teammates are buying. So this is your fault? This was not a round when you should be trying to get kills. And again, you didn't buy anything. Literally the same example. Look, you buy, you have 800 credits that you can spend. <coughs> you could buy a sheriff here. You could buy a sheriff and play with your turret. Don't overthink it. That's my job. Painting sentry. S uh, same thing, I, I could literally repeat what I said about the previous round when you didn't buy anything and played with a classic. Right now, you're spamming util for no purpose. See? The Reina fight's short, but you're AFK. Now, imagine if you had actually a sheriff and you could help them. And you could help them, like, defend this, right? Down A. It's funny how very similar you and Garrett played. Play. I mean. You know? Like, you guys... It feels like for me, you choose Killjoy because you lack the confidence in yourself. While Killjoy is made, for my opinion, for players to actually have bigger confidence... Because you can play of your utility as an additional player. You know? Placing swarm grenade. Placing alarm bomb. Placing swarm okay, grenade. decent setup. I like this. Yeah, that's fine. And the turret on on the boxes as well. I like this. I like this because it alerts you when someone goes out of the showers as well. But you can hold this here and then swing when the turret starts shooting. I like this. Fire in the hole. You should probably call for the fate to rotate, not you. Yeah, this is a call. Fate, please help them. Fate, please help them instead of you. You know? But now you have to wait for the fade. Tell her, use your use your ultimate, man. Use your ultimate. Go. Oh, a fucking fade, man. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Use your fucking ultimate fade. It makes me mad. I'm watching this and I and, and I'm fucking mad. Oh my god. You're so fucked. Holy shit. Thank god you killed one. I mean, that's not your fault. Your fate is a moron. One enemy remaining. Alright, so. Weak as garbage. To sum it up. You use too much utility with no purpose. Right? Always try to think... What would Lotta say? Is this efficient? Is my setup currently efficient? If the answer is no, don't do it. Right? And try to play off the contact of your turret and your alarm robot. Swing like it's a player to trade him. Right? Third, when it's eco rounds, stop using utility by weapons. Use your turret as your helper, like for example the Bucky Hookah setup. Right? 
And then fourth, work on your crosser placement and don't peek before you're ready with your crosser placement, right? You are guilty of that a lot of times. I remember yesterday you had the same issues and I said the same. You are peeking before you're ready with your crosser. It's like somewhere in the middle. It's like very chaotic. Um, and what else? Apart from what I said already? Um... I think those are the biggest talking points and everything else I mentioned during the vote review. So hopefully this was helpful as well. Oh, and the ultimate. Always think about the outcome of the ultimate usage, right? Like I explained in those rounds.